It's 2025 and the email marketing gods are wanting to mark everything as spam. Can you relate? Even my personal Gmail, when I send emails to my dad or something, is going to spam. So here is what I am doing to help myself out. Let me show you this cool little tool. So I just went onto Google and I put in test my email spam score. And this was a free tool that came up. So I went with it um, and I thought it was pretty cool. So um, this is for my, just my normal e Gmail. I don't know if 87 out of 100 is good, but that's where we're at. I'm gonna test, test my business one after. But um, I do in just like every email, I have this little thing. So it says free training. So I'm going to go into my settings and change that little footer um, to not say free because apparently that's not great. Um, so that's the first thing we're going to do. Let's see what else it says. Um, there is a no list unsubscribe header unsubscribe link. Okay. <laughs> this one's hard because it's like this is my personal email. So like people aren't really unsubscribing to my personal email. You know what I mean? Um, but whatever, um, the subject line, well, I sent them, I was just doing a random subject line, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, okay, so let's go in and test my, um, work email and see what it has to say. So we're going to send a little test email. I just don't want to add spam in there because they knocked me when I did that last time. Okay, so now let's check, see your score. So this one is coming from a business, um, it's gonna make me sign up, um, account. And so I wouldn't be surprised if this one ranks lower than the other one. If you want to use the same programs I used, again, I just Googled it. Um, the first one I used was Mail Genius, and then the second one I'm using is Mail Dash Tester. Um, okay, so this is for my Becca at Rebecca Reed Creative. And okay, again, your message could be improved. That's that's irrelevant because I was just <laughs> testing it. But this one is really good. You're not fully authenticated. So this would be my number one tip for you, especially if it's coming from a business email that you've purchased through, you know, host sponsor what a GoDaddy or whatever, is make sure it's authenticated. So let's go in and I'll teach you how to do this next. Okay, so we've um, done the SPF record and now it's time for the DKIM record. Again, I'm gonna link this all in the blog post so you can follow the directions there. But you go to your Google Admin Console and then Apps. So over here, Apps, Gmail, click on your Gmail. And then you wanna go to Authenticate Email. And I'm assuming you've done already this. The next step is to generate a new record and copy the TXT and then you add it to your DNS. So, let's refresh the page, and then we have this here. So I'm gonna copy that, and then go into my host monster where I have my domain, and I will just paste that. Host record. Um, Okay, save. And then you can come back here, and this may take $40, so I'll wait on that one. And then our next step is this DMARC. So with this one, this is the value that you're you're gonna copy. So if you go to like you can just go to what add DMARC. And it'll also explain it in this article. You can find articles like this for every single one. So this is an example of a DMARC. Um, 
and obviously you're replace, replacing example.com with your email. So um, we'll get to that and we'll do another TXT. Okay. Um, And the value is what you're putting in. So this one. And if you're ever wondering more about like what do all these tags mean, what is you know the V and all that, you can go to this and read more about what all those tags mean. So then oh, that was my last one. I'm gonna do the example for you. You would put that in there and then you would save that. So that is pretty much what you need to do to authenticate your email and make things good to go and not going to spam any longer.